So in this little video, I'm just going to be showing you a little bit of some of the features of the autosave and the versioning history in Office 365 and OneDrive. Here I've got a Word document just on my desktop. When you open up a Word document, um, you will see that most of the time it's going to be set by default to autosave. Uh, now what autosave means is that when you make changes to your Word document, um, the document is saving constantly up to the cloud. What that means is that gone are the days if you're working on a file for an hour and um, forgetting to save and then um, losing that work if something goes wrong. So even though I just made some changes to the files, I can close uh, the Word document down, open it back up again, and those say those changes have been saved to the file. And with auto save as well, every single change is being saved up in the document. So what you can do is you can click on info and then click on version history, and we can see the changes of the the changes that I've made to this Word document. And here is one a little bit old, the very first change out of the Word document. And then what you can do there if you want to, you can click restore, and then that restores your work, your document, back to that previous version, uh, giving you a little bit of control, and also telling you in there who's made that change as well. So if you're um, if you were wondered about maybe who's changed the file, who's made a change with that, you can actually see uh, who's made a change to the document with some good audio and um, trailing you. If you don't want to use autosave, you still get the version history. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to change turn auto save off. I'm going to make a couple of changes. So I'm going to go and test. Test change one save. Close that down. Test change two. And save that. And if I go back into file, info, version history, we can see that change that I've just made there. We can open, we can open that back up and restore those changes. The version history does also work uh, for the non Word and Excel uh, documents. So for here, I've got myself a image. I'm just going to open that up. Bring this image on, and I'm just going to edit that file. And I'm just going to save that file. Now, what we're going to do is we're now going to take this file, we're going to right click on the file, we're going to click on version history, and what that does that brings up a brings up a little box um, with the version history of that file. Uh, what we can do is go back to any one of those points, right click on click, click on those three dots there and just click restore. Um, now, it's not as instantaneous as doing it from inside Word and Excel, uh, but if you give that 30 seconds or so, uh, that file will restore. And that file's now uh, just restored. Um, what did actually happen is that the file Though it's restored, it's now disappeared from its uh, previous location uh, and is now back on another part of my desktop. So, as you can see, I'm going to drag that back now. 